Thanks for joining. We just finished up with section 10.6 where we saw Jasper add more items into his budget to pay for. And he can pay for these things by way of increased disposable income. He's reduced expenses and received a raise. Things that he has done for himself is add in travel. He's added in clothes, life insurance, more to sports and leisure, and birthdays and gifts, and wellness for his new puppy. So he is getting a more mature budget because he has the ability to afford more things. So what he wants to do is follow the credo that we live in the squad with, and that is live for today but plan for tomorrow. And you can see here that he has added up $385 into new items in his budget, but he has $1,205 in newly created disposable income, and that leaves $820. So what he just decided to do is take the remainder of that money, which would add up to $17,000 for the year to put into his 401k. Now, just so you know, the legal limit by the government is 18 grand, so he's doing pretty well here. So if we look at the calculation here, we can see that we take 17,000 divided by 26 on his bi-weekly paycheck schedule, and that would come out to $654 per check. If we divide that by his gross income, that means he will put away 20% of his income every year. So as we love to work with pre-tax, this is exactly what's happening here. And that means this money he puts away for all these years will grow tax-free and will not be taxed until he starts taking out at, at the earliest age of 59 and a half. And that's the way we want to do it, folks. This is doing really well for him. And that's the way we want check that. And that's the way we want, folks. This is getting check that. And this is what we'd like to see. This is putting Jasper in a position to better his future. So if we look at the our uh, grid here, we can see that we're, a couple things have changed. Is that he doesn't work off an eighty thousand dollars salary anymore. He works off eighty five k. So that's how we got to start the new grid here. So we can see that we put the 20% here right off the top. And that comes out to the 654 that we talked about right here. And that comes out before anything else is touched. As with his FSA and DCAP, all as well with pre-tax. So you can see we have a good pattern here now. Jasper is doing himself every possible favor he can for his future and his everyday life. Okay? Even health insurance is pre-tax. So now we take the rate of 25% that we were working with when we get down to all these pre-tax items, and that leaves him with $1,799. So if you recall, his money was over $2,000, but we're going to see what happens in his grid below here. And again, we'll point out again the change in numbers. Okay, so let's take a peek at Jasper's new budget layout. Right off the bat, we can see that his income is lowered. And this is by way of his 401k, where he decided to put $17,000 away. This is great. This is him building for his future. Now we can note that his leftovers went down by 32, as they used to be 783, but that's okay. He decided that's, that is fine with me. I will sacrifice $32 to add all that money to my 401k. And now he's given himself the ability to have options. He has a more mature budget. And this is because he got a raise. He reduces expenses by just simply reduced his cost by certain services that he pays for, but he's also met his emergency fund and he's paid down his credit debt. And that opened up a whole world of options for him. So you can see here in green, these are the things that he has added. And this is where the maturity comes in. He has travel, he has gifts, clothes, pets, sports and leisure, life insurance. These went up a hair and all these others are brand new, all in green here. And this is great. This is the ability. This is the point, is giving himself options. And now he has built up enough money to give himself the ability to purchase a new home. He has cash. He's built this over three years. He's provided discipline. And this is what you need to do. This is very important. This is the whole point of everything that we're doing. This is what we started from chapter 1 to chapter 10, and everybody that's been in the squad or will join the squad will see what this is all about. You can budget any way you want, but if you do not budget properly and you do not manage your money by paying your expenses and planning for the future, you're going to be in trouble. I have seen so many people in my life that just blow it off. They buy the toys 
or they just pay their bills or they rack up their credit and they get away with it and they want to keep up with the Joneses or they get to a point in life where they think they're so used to having the things that they have, there's no way they could possibly reduce their expenses or pay down their debt because that would be a downgrade. That would be a kick to their pride and they wouldn't look good and they don't want other people to see them look that way. That looks like failure. And to say budgeting is a failure or I'm cheap or penny pinching, that's a failure. These are all types of connotations or ways that many people look at in their lives because they're used to living a certain lifestyle. But if you keep blowing things off, you will get nailed. Remember, three quarters of all people live paycheck to paycheck. Three quarters of all people cannot afford to retire, which means at retirement age of 62 or beyond, they can't afford to do that. That means they cannot afford to live the same lifestyle as they finished in their working years as they would be in their retirement. And that's what happens. So when you charge up all your cards or do not pay your debts down, you're just one life event away from falling into severe debt or into bankruptcy or losing your home. I've seen it several times in my life and know people personally who do not manage their money. They blow things off and many times they get away with it. But again, as you get toward that retirement time in life, and like I mentioned, you are one life event away from bankruptcy, anything can happen. And all you have is your health and your memories at that point. And you get to a certain age where you don't plan, it's too late. You can't make that up. Eventually, you will get nailed. So it is very important to understand why you're doing this. So if you are here, we are glad you are here. And we want you to spread the word. And we want you to be successful. And we want you to make concessions and make changes to be a better person. Being able to go into bed at night knowing that your bills are paid and you're making differences is a huge thing. You will feel good as an individual. Because let's face it, folks, money makes the world go round. And realize that you have a goal to make and it's not going to happen overnight. You need to work at it. So everything that you have learned here, you have to build into it because you might not make enough money or you might have such severe debt you have to pay that down or you don't have the debt but you don't have enough money to build out and be to this mature level that you see in front of us here. But you can get there. And remember, no one is impervious to budgeting. It doesn't matter if you make 35000 or 500000 or you're an athlete that makes $5 million a year. No one is impervious. So be true to yourself. Do the things that you need to do. Get yourself right and be successful and spread the word. And I guarantee you that you will sleep better, you'll feel better, and the people around you will feel better. You'll enjoy yourself and you'll see that the fruits of your labor will really reveal itself. So we thank you for joining. This is just one section of the whole book, but it is very important. This is the pathway to get you to the next step. And we look forward to seeing you in future videos and listening to your suggestions your comments, and your testimonials, which means those are success stories. So spread the word so thousands of other people can achieve what you have, and we're going to keep that train a-rolling. So thanks for joining the squad, and we will see you in future videos.